Now that the athletics is in full swing, joining us for more on this now is Olympic gold medal javelin winner, the wonderful Tessa Sanderson, and two-time Olympic middle distance gold medal winner, the wonderful Dame Kelly Holmes. Ladies, good afternoon to both of you. Good afternoon. Thank you. So, who are we talking to? I can't see, but I can hear. Who's... I'm Kelly. I'm Kelly. Hello. How da are you? Dame Kelly. Dame and Kelly. Hello. How are you? Tessa sitting next to me. <laughs> okay, Tessa. Lovely Hi, to speak to afternoon. you as well. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, I, yes, I, all's well. I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll, I'll name you so I know who I'm talking to, and so do the listeners. So, Dame Kelly, I'll start with you. The obvious question that if it was a football competition, I would ask: Are you enjoying the competition? Are you enjoying the Olympics so far? How does it compare to previous Olympics? I'm really, really enjoying this Olympics as well as uh, Kelly's going to go first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a good start. Isn't okay. It? <laughs> you know this is live, ladies, right? Okay. <laughs> right. Hi, everyone. Yes. Right. We're, it, we are enjoying it. It is a fantastic oh, game. You've got to remember, Tokyo had no one there, so the crowds have come out in force. Energy. Every single stadium seems to be packed. Had some fantastic results, and this is my first time in this stadium and it looks like it's going to be a great night. Tess, I want to ask you, we always talk about Olympics and that being the quality in terms of the events, the medals, but has this Olympics had the real quality that you'd expected or has it been above and beyond? These games I've really, really been enjoying. It's fun, everything's happening here. I've been so excited. It's the first time I've worked like this outside of the arena as such and, you know, with the team and to see the, the atmosphere, the, the, the people, to feel what's happening here from the outside of the arena. It's, been, it's, it, it's fantastic. Um, Dame, uh, Dame Kelly, I just want to ask you, there's um, a, a massive night of athletics ahead of us with um, Keely Hodgkinson in action. Can you remember how you felt the morning of that day that was so special for you? Oh, absolutely. You know, this is big moments. We, we, you don't mess around at the Olympic Games. And when you feel like you are a medal hope, and in Keeley's case, you know, everyone hopes that it's going to be gold tonight, there's this underlying pressure that you get. So as much as you have that confidence, you're in the zone, no one can really quantify the amount of... Um, nerves that are sort of seeping into your body so you've got to be really alert really present and really take one step at a time and she won't be finishing about it's not about what she's doing now what is ma what matters not when she stands on that start line the start line matters when she gets to it so at the moment she's probably out in the warm-up track um it's probably with her coach and the team gb set up she'll be going through her own normal preparation uh, this far in advance of um, her race. She might not even left the village yet, to be honest with you. It's like time to a tee when they get here. And there's a brilliant outdoor um, warm-up track outside of this main stadium where all the athletes get to. So, of course, there's a lot of other things to worry about before you get to the actual start line. Can I stay with you, Dame Kelly, just for one moment? The amount of pressure on any athlete in this situation is huge. Do you think she goes into it with a little bit more pressure on her shoulders, bearing in mind that Tokyo, she got a silver for the World Final, she got a silver in Budapest, she got a silver as well. Does that come into it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she said, you know, she wants to turn those silvers into gold. She's been very, very clear that her one mission is to win gold tonight. Um, and so, you know, yes, there's pressure for all of us. It'd be the first gold that we win in the track for Great Britain. So, of course, everyone's eyes are on her and we want her to, feel, you know, to follow through. She'd be only the third woman in um, Great Britain to win a gold medal at the 800 metres. Mine was the last one 20 years ago. So it'd be brilliant to see a young talent come through at this stage. Tessa, I want to ask you about the, the 100 metres last night, the men's. I mean, everyone's talking about it over here. It was obviously, the quality in the race was incredible. Um, the right man obviously won Noah Lyles. But have you ever seen an Olympic final that has been as tight as it was yesterday? I have never, ever witnessed the 100 metre final, you know, like I did last night. It was just truly amazing. I mean, I have to say that I was surprised myself because I thought Thompson had won it. You know, but then it's all about the torso and the head and, and yes, first past the line. But it was so close. It was unbelievable. And then, you know, uh, Noah really sort of picked up in the middle of his race and then come towards the end, um, fought through and then actually won it. I think Noah himself didn't even believe that he'd won it. <laughs> It's the quality of the field, you know, to get all of those guys getting sub-10, 9-9, nine, 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 
Yeah. I mean, sub, I mean it's, it's never, ever happened before. I mean, that was a race to be seen. And I think you're right. No one could call it apart from those rules where it is your torso that crosses the line. Not the toe, not the hair, the torso. And that's why he won fair and square. Yeah. And, and there was so much sort of like showmanship that was going on before <laughs> that, wasn't there? I'm glad you won, to be honest, because of that. Well, yeah, because, you know, we were talking about this last night and said sport has come a long way and we need sort of like personalities and personalities coming into the game as such. And for the 100 metres, we've had Usain and, you know, he's still there doing his thing in a way, apart from sprinting on the track, but the personality we felt was needed and we think Noah's probably going to add up to that. Yeah, well, and, and Dame Kelly, let me ask you a question because a lot was made of the start. Now, you've obviously been in that situation where you're waiting for the gun to go off, but last night it seemed to take a very long time. Do you think that had any kind of bearing on the result of the race? Yeah, it was too slow, way too slow. They were out there. I don't know. I don't know if anyone heard why there was that delay. But you've got to remember, they come out onto the track. That's their preparation. So however they come out, they're now obviously coming out like a beast, jeering up the crowd. That's his energy and that gets him in the zone. Others are taking a stare down the track, they're talking to themselves, they're saying they're going to get it. And then that moment goes, you know, because <laughs> you, some, now you're starting to fret. Now you're thinking, what's going wrong? Why aren't they starting us? Because all those, those conversations shouldn't be happening in your head at that time. So I think, yeah, it was an issue, but then the gun goes and that's it. They're all, the thing is, they're all in the same boat. It's not like one was in a different position. They're all in the same boat, slow start. And... Um, Gun went and the winner won. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Uh, ladies, Tessa Sanderson, thank you so much for coming. Always a pleasure. We'll speak to you in a bit. And Dame Kelly, thanks for coming on as well. And I'll see you next week, Dame Kelly. Yes, you will. Yes. I'll see you next okay. week. Have a good one. Thanks okay. for coming Cheers. on. And he looks confused. Uh, thanks, as always, to uh, the wonderful Dame Kelly Holmes and Tessa Sarnison. Uh, remember, of course, you can hear live commentary throughout the Olympics over on TalkSport 2. Download the TalkSport app now to easily switch between both of our sister stations.